Welcome, welcome to another episode of Genshin Impact. In this shorter episode, I'm going to be going over some of the glitches I found. I found more, and that'll be part of the, the next episode, where I'll be playing around in co-op and just messing around and having fun, and you'll get to see what co-op's like in the world, not outside of the dungeon. And so let's get started with this episode on glitches. Alright, here's a glitch, and this is a no reference exception. So no matter how many times I press confirm, the game is frozen. And you can still hear um, Amber's just climbing in place and nothing's happening except for the, the tree, le the tree um, waving in the wind. Um, and I can't actually exit the game without closing it completely. So you got the, the nice alt plus F4 and that will exit the game. So this is what I had to do and I, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't actually have a, a safeguard for getting out of that. Okay, so this is another one I encountered, and so if you go into this portal without the cape, it shows you're, you're flying through it without the cape, and you can't glide in the game without having your cape out, so this is actually an animation glitch. It's, it's not game breaking or anything, I just wanted to show that one. Alright, so this one's interesting, so I'm out right outside of Storm Terror's lair. And it's right on top where you can view down into the, the layer itself. And so you can see I can just kind of walk right into this terrain um, in that corner. So there's it's just a physics bug where you, if you, you can force your way through if there's like a small crevice and you can get part of your character in there, the rest of the character can walk through it. It's just it's just game physics uh, bug. It happens in all games unless you actually make sure that there's a, a wall there so you can't actually like a, a rectangular wall then you want to be able to actually walk into it but they didn't do that here in the terrain so I can just walk right into it like it's nothing so you can see I think they're, they, they saw me disappear and they're kind of confused yeah, I don't think they saw me walk in. I kind of just walked over there to show them where I was, and I walked in. I guess they didn't follow me, but that's fine. So I'm, I'm also try. I tried to see if I could actually go even more into the cliff and maybe partly into the storm terror lair within the the walls or in the in the ground, but uh, I don't think you can from what I've tested. And so this is kind of, kind of interesting that I can just pop out of the ground like it's nothing. Okay, so this one, I saw a giant hole near the border um, on top of Storm Terror's lair, and I decided to jump in there, and once you jump in there, Paimon's just freaking out saying uh, you can't explore this area yet, and then you just slowly keep sliding down. And the problem with that is, I don't think you can actually get out because she'll keep bothering you and stopping you from climbing back out. And so I, this is where you would just get stuck. They should have honestly had something blocking there so you can't just jump down this hole. And yeah, but anyways, I'm down here, so I'm I, I'm trying to see if I can find any more bugs for glitch back up. But I honestly don't think I can get out of here. So you can see right here, I'm trying to get back up, but no, Paimon's like, no, you can't. And then when you, she, she talks to you, she forces you out of climbing, and then you just slide back down. Looks like there's a bit more area over here, and wow, I can slide down quite far. And I don't think I can actually climb back up, because that, that's way too steep of a cliff. Or hill, that is. As you know, there's a uh, ways to kind of just glitch into the terrain, but I don't think I can find any good spots in here for that.
Okay, this one's an interesting area. So right here in the corner, I can't actually fade through into it, but my character starts freaking out once I stand right here. <laughs> you can see that my character is like jumping up and like jumping down up and down really, really, really fast as you can hear the the foot sounds, and it's slowly pushing me upwards for some strange reason. And unfortunately, I can't go any further up here because it just ends right here. I was hoping I could, it could kind of push me into this uh, terrain, but it's not going to. But anyways, yeah, so these are some of the bugs that I found while I was playing in co-op. But it's not all of the bugs I found, so there's going to be a couple more at least in the next episode that you'll see. But the next episode's not going to be about just bugs. It's going to be actually about co-op gameplay in the world. So just kind of exploring and having fun, um, just co-op outside of the dungeon. So I'll see you in the next episode. See ya!